We negotiated a deal which, frankly, I think would be a very good way forward for Britain uh, out of the Brexit um, uh, debate, but Parliament has three times rejected it. So the correct thing to do in a parliamentary democracy uh, when Parliament is rejecting the policy proposal that the government's putting forward is to reach out across Parliament to see if we can build a parliamentary consensus for another way forward. And that's what we're doing at the moment. Ultimately, though, we are realistically looking at a customs union which contravenes what was said in your manifesto. Well, it's no secret that the Labour Party uh, have been talking about a permanent customs union as one of their negotiating objectives, but they have other uh, objectives as well, and we also have um, uh, our own uh, views on these things. So it's not a question of simply the Labour Party um, stating it and it's done. These things will be discussed and negotiated in the usual way. Is the only way to build that consensus a second referendum? Uh, not necessarily. Um, there are some people in Parliament who advocate the second referendum, but there are many people in Parliament who are strongly against it. We've had a vote in Parliament on this issue uh, and there wasn't a majority in favour of it. It would have been irresponsible not to prepare for no deal so long as it was a real possible uh, outcome. Uh, making preparations for events that we hope will not happen is an everyday part of government. We prepare for all sorts of uh, outcomes uh, to ensure that we have readiness and we can manage them and mitigate the effects of them if they arise. But just let me be clear about this. We spent £4 billion uh, so far on preparing for Brexit. But that is not just for a no-deal Brexit. Much of that money uh, would be needed to be spent anyway in preparing us for Brexit, putting in place, in place new systems to replace EU systems that we've been using up to now. Uh, no deal is not completely off the table. There is clearly uh, a risk of a no deal exit on the 31st of October. But what has happened over the last couple of months is that Parliament has expressed a very, very clear uh, will uh, that we should not leave without a deal. Um, unfortunately, uh, Parliament's clarity on that issue has not been matched by a clarity about what kind of deal we should have in order to ensure that we don't leave with no deal. Uh, and what we've got to do now, through the discussions we're having with the Labour Party, is find a way forward in Parliament that allows us to leave with a deal that works for Britain, uh, allows us to deliver Brexit for the British people and protect the British economy and British jobs. Well, some people uh, are talking about uh, a confirmatory referendum around any uh, package for a deal. Uh, the government's view is that that is unnecessary. Um, some people in the Labour Party uh, are very keen on it. Others are very much opposed to it. We've tested this idea already in Parliament during the indicative votes and there wasn't actually a majority for it. But I think we can anticipate that one way or another uh, during the passage of the bill ratifying uh, the uh, exit agreement, there probably will be uh, an attempt to test Parliament's uh, uh, view on this issue again and we'll see what Parliament uh, decides. We would very much like to have had this done, dusted and behind us by now and it's a, a matter of regret to me that I have to go and tell my colleagues here that yes I'm afraid uh, this Brexit issue is still one of the things on your agenda as a potential uh, risk to the global economy alongside the US-China trade tensions and other issues. Uh, I would much prefer that we dealt with it and I could tell them that it's resolved um, and that, that uh, there is no longer any issue around it. Well, I hope we won't have to hold uh, European Parliament elections. Our uh, fervent aspiration is to get this deal done so that we can cancel those elections before May the 22nd. Jeremy Corbyn says Julian Assange shouldn't be extradited to the United States. What do you think ought to happen? I think that's a matter for the courts. Uh, it's a very important principle of our constitution that we separate judicial and uh, executive uh, power. This is a sub judice uh, issue, so it will be for the courts to decide what happens to Mr Assange.